This presentation is going to go over resistors. And we've talked about resistors in the past. If you remember the analogy of the water tank and the water flowing through the pipe, the resistor can be thought of as a rock that is thrown into the system that essentially when it plugs up the line actually slows down the flow of water. So an actual resistor in a circuit would do something similar but it would slow down the flow of electrons. So um, the definition of a resistor is that it is an electronic component that resists the flow of electrical current. So like I said before it slows down the flow of electrons and it's used to control this flow because if you've ever touched a resistor or a battery in a circuit, when it gets too hot, that means that the electrons are going too fast through that circuit. And if you allow it to continue, you can actually short circuit that circuit, or you can actually catch the circuit on, um, you could cause it to have a, a small fire. So it's important to have resistors in a circuit in order to control that electron flow. And as we measured before, the resistors the resistance is actually measured in ohms, and it was measured after a man named George Ohm who came up with Ohm's Law. And if you remember Ohm's Law, it shows the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. So if you remember that formula, V is equal to I times R, where R is resistance, I is current, and V is voltage. That is Ohm's Law. So there's several different types of resistors, and I, I won't go through all of these. I want to focus really on carbon film resistors because that's what we're going to be working with. And carbon film resistors essentially look like uh, look like this, and they have four different colored bands associated with them. And we'll go through each of those. We'll go through what those colors mean shortly. So, like I said, the uh, there is a color code associated with these bands, and there's two different values associated with resistor. One is what we call a nominal value, or the resistor's face value, and the other is called the measured value. So this particular resistor, when you look at these different colored bands, you can actually determine what its face value would be, right? So let's say it's 200 ohms. But when I actually go to measure it with the multimeter, it could come out to 195 ohms or 205 ohms, depending on what the tolerance of that resistor is. And we'll go through what that means. So, like I mentioned before, the, um, the resistors have different colored bands associated with them. And the first, two, the first two colored bands represent the first two digits in what is going to be the resistance for that resistor. The third band is what we call the multiplier. And then the fourth band is what's called a tolerance. So let's take a look at an example to actually, so we can see what that all means. So in this resistor, the first band is brown. So if we go down to the, to the first column, brown means one. So this value, this has a value of one. The second band is black, which has a value of zero. Now we go to the multiplier band, which is red. So this is 100. So that's going to be 10 times 100. And then the tolerance is going to be yellow. So that's going to be plus or minus 5%. Okay, so 10 times 100 actually gives you 1,000. So this particular resistor has a face value of 1,000 ohms with a tolerance of plus or minus 5%. So essentially what that means is when you actually go to get the measured value, that this could be you could measure anywhere between 995 to 1000. Oops, that's not right. It would be It would be at yeah, 995 to one thousand fifty. So what you actually measure could be anywhere between these numbers, and that's what that tolerance means. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. So let's look at the second example. The first band has a, uh, an orange color. So what do you think that value is going to be? The second value has a white color. And then the multiplier is going to be green, and the tolerance is going to be yellow. 
So determine what the nominal value or the face value is going to be for this resistor. So if you look at the values, orange is 3, white is 9, the multiplier is green, and then the tolerance is going to be 5%. Okay, you can also work it the other way around. If you're given that the resistor is going to be 1.5 kilo ohms, right? Or 1.5 kilo ohms is also 1,500 ohms, plus or minus 5%. We know the tolerance, so we know that's going to be yellow. And what do you think the other values are going to be? If the first value is a 1, second value is a 5, and then what multiplier do we need to get 1,500? So brown, green, the multiplier needs to be red. Okay, so what I want to do now is the, the resistor that's in front of you is a resistor that we have been working with or will work with. And I want you to take a look at the color codes and determine what type of resistor it is that we've been working with. So take a look at the color codes so that what we have here is orange, orange, brown, gold. So let's look back at the, uh, at the legend orange orange what is that three three brown times ten so thirty three times ten and then gold is five percent so what we've been working with is a three hundred and thirty ohm resistor with a tolerance of plus or minus five percent so what I want you to do now is I want you to take the um, I want you to take the resistor that's in your hand and I want you to actually measure the, uh, the measured value and actually see is it indeed plus or minus 5% using the multimeter. 